video and it's going to be on this rose gold eye look and I hope you guys enjoyed this video it's um, a very kind of bold lip I also chose to go with this um, pomegranate kind of rosy um, coloured eye so I hope you guys like it it's the look I'm wearing at the moment and I'm going to um, talk you guys through how I kind of created um, this look I hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe and um, like comment share and everything and um, leave your comments below on how you thought this look went and if you would like me to do um, lots more of these types of videos I hope you guys really enjoy this video and this I will leave a demo as well of how the look kind of um, turned out super highlighted on the cheeks as well um, yes yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you all next time thanks for watching guys bye I started by using my um, serum from Super Facialist and my Elizabeth Arden Primer to prime my eyes. Um, I'm just going to go in with my Beyond Infecting um, Foundation and Concealer from Clinique and start buffing, buffing in my foundation um, with my Beauty Blender. I've also added a tiny bit of the Infallible 24 Hour Matte and I'm just going to take that in slowly and just finish buffing that out over my skin. I've already filled in my brows. So I'm going to that all in. I'm just going back in with my um, Clinique um, concealer and just buffing that into my, just under my eyes. So you can seal up my eyes so it's nice and bright and bigger. I'm going to go in quickly with some powder now and the powder I'm using is this one from Second Glory. And I'm just going to powder the areas that I know are going to crease up. And this is quite a oily foundation I've noticed throughout the day it can um, get quite oily throughout the day so I just like to powder so it keeps that oil at bay otherwise I'm just going to go in now with some bronzer I'm going to start off by using this one from Tarte just a subtle shade here just this one right in the middle and I'm just going to use this to kind of just find the outline of my contour just gonna subtly do it and then I'm just gonna blend that all out picking up a little bit more product just slightly contour with um, that colour there. And then I'm going to take this Elizabeth Arden bronzer um, in the colour Deep and it's this really pretty um, light kind of, um, it's got tiny shimmers to it and just slightly contour with that. Tapping off any excess and just and just bringing it up a little bit. I'm just going to do the other side. I'm going to go in with some blush and I'm using this blush from MAC and it's in the colour Flirt and Tease. Super love this colour, I just think it's so pretty and I think it would really match the eyes that I'm going to be creating. Um, if you're looking for more of an affordable one, um, I also have this one from Sleek and um, their Sleek brushes are beautiful. This is probably a bit more pigmented than this one so I'd be quite light handed with this and it's in the colour Pomegranate also a lovely shade if you're looking for something just a little bit more affordable and again I'm just going to go in with my NYX um, brush and then just um, blend that onto the apples of my cheeks so. 
I'm just gonna smile, just find the apples on my cheeks. From the Ultra Blush um, palette from Revolution as well, and I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of a And then I'm just going to take this Kiko um, eyeshadow and actually highlight with this. It's super pigmented and it's that goldy shimmer and it's in the colour 102. I just think it's perfect for highlight. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to highlight that. Okay, I've just finished highlighting this side as well with the Kiko um, eyeshadow um, 102, which worked really well. Um, yeah, so I finished highlighting and now I'm going to go and I use this brush here um, from Real Techniques, it's their foundation brush. I'm just going to go in now with um, my Tanya Burr Cosmetics um, eyeshadow palette, fairy tale, uh, fairy tale eye palette, and I'm going to be using Velvet Cushion just in my crease. I'm just going to work that into my crease. This is going to be my transition, tran this is going to be my transition colour. So now that's all worked in, and then for my highlight, I'm just going to take. <laughs> I'm just, um, for my highlight, I'm just going to take um, this colour in cream tea from the Tanya Burr eye palette again, same palette, and I'm just going to use that as my um, brow bone um, highlight colour, and I'm just going to take that all all the way up on my brow bone area, just there. And it's kind of a matte um, colour and um, yeah, so it's just a really pretty matte kind of colour with a slight sheen to it. Um, I just think it works really well as that um, brow bone colour. And then I'm going to go in with a couple of colours from this Revolution palette. Um, it's called the Revolution Maker uh, Salvation palette from Revolution. And I'm going to go in with a couple of colours couple of colours from this palette. First I'm going to start off with this rosy, rose, uh, rose coloured toned um, colour and I'm going to work that into my, uh, all over my lid. I'm going to work that colour all over my lid. <laughs> I'm just going to tap off any excess. Any excess? I'm just going to use my flat brush to work that all in over my lid. I'm just going to build up that colour. Okay, I'm just spraying my brush a little bit so I can pick up a lot more pigment with that colour. Just drying it off a little bit. And then the colour to become a lot more intense. Um, and it just intensifies that pigment a lot more. And I'm just going to work that colour all over my lid. And then I'm going to blend it out with a fluffy brush. I'll just now I'm just dipping that same flat brush into the blusher that I showed you earlier from um, Sleek and it's in the colour Pomegranate. And I'm just going to dip my brush, flat brush into that and then also build up that um, rose toned colour and pack that on to my lid just to build up the intensity of that colour and I feel like it works really well to build up a nice rose, um, rosy colour on the eyelids. 
It's a very pigmented blush, so it just works great as an eyeshadow. And I'm just building up that colour, that intensity of that colour. And working that all over my lid. Okay, now I'm just going to go in with this Kiko colour here and work that into the centre as well. So it's just just in the centre there. I'm just going to work that up slowly until I'm happy with the pigment. Okay, now I'm just going to finish the bottom of my eyes and so the colours are matching the eyeshadow on the bottoms as well. And I'm just going to go in with that pomegranate colour from um, Sleek again and just um, go in just under my waterline and put that colour underneath. Stick that colour on. Just packing that colour on. I'm also taking book bookworm from um, Tanya Burr Hollywood Eye Palette and just um, working that underneath that colour as well just to match the transition colour. Just putting that underneath. my Stila eyeliner, um, yeah, in the colour Onx, I think it is, and it's just a gel eyeliner. I don't want it to stand out too much, just a little bit of intensity inside the waterline. Okay, and then I'm also going to just do the tops of the eyes as well, just staying really close to the lash line to create a, just a little line. I'm just going to tight line a little bit as well. in place and um, it's just kind of intensifying that um, gold and the rose as well underneath. I'm just highlighting now with the Kiko uh, eyeshadow again, the one in 106, 102 sorry, and I'm just taking that, it's in like a gold colour and just um, highlighting the inner corners of my eyes, I've done the same on that side already, just so that it's matching the gold in the middle of my lid that I've put on. So I'm just highlighting the inner corners. Super pigmented this one, I love this shade. You get a great pigment. Okay, and now I'm just going to go in with mascara, and the mascara I'm using is this one from um, Bare Essentials, the Buxom one. Um, I love this, it really separates my lashes really, really well. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my mascara. I'm um, also applying uh, mascara to my bottom lashes as well, just a little bit. Just finishing applying mascara. Okay, so mascara finish, I'm going to move on to um, the last bit, so the eyes just um, are finished with the mascara on now and just got that goldy part in the centre, like a halo of gold over that pomegranate kind of um, rosy blushed kind of colour and it's the same on the other side. Um, I'm just going to move on to lips and the um, lip stain I've chosen is from Sleek and it's in the colour it's their Matte Me 
selection and it's in the colour Velvet Slipper. Um, to line my lips with it as well. I'm just going to slowly build this colour up because it's very pigmented and it's very matte. So I'm just going to start off in the centre. I'm just going to wipe off any lip balm that I had on. I had a lip balm on um, just to kind of prep my lips for that very matte. <laughs> Um, lip stain that I'm going to apply now. Okay. I'm just going to slightly kind of overline, just ever so slightly. This is very pigmented. So what I'm going to do, it okay guys, so now um, the lip um, stain is applied, it's quite a vampy, um, quite out of my comfort zone, but I really thought it suited that pomegranate eyeshadow and that rose gold toned um, colour um, and that I also have as my highlight as well and um, so I hope you guys um, like this um, type of rose blushed kind of look for the eyes and um, I will leave a short demo um, at the end of the finished look and some pictures to show you how the looks. Um, yeah.